At the very start of the programme, applicants are brought to Pembroke College for individual interviews. These are staged so they are identical to the kind of traditional university interview that students could face in the future. We invite as many people as possible to come for a mini interview and that is their first experience actually of Oxford and Pembroke. So that can be daunting for the best prepared person. Obviously the main emphasis is in humanities. So it's students who, not are, who may have already been studying humanities and enjoying those subjects um, at GCSE, but also open to students who just feel that they might have an interest um, in that area. When we got out of the culture, it was like sort of stepping out onto an alien world or something. It was, we were very wide-eyed when we saw it, and, um, and that was very enlightening. It was challenging, but you know, it was enjoyable at the same time because there was a lot of questions that I really had to think about, and it's stuff that you never really get at A-level. You don't really get the questions they were asking, you know, asked to you at A-level. So it's interesting to think in a different way. After an interview, successful A-level students spend a year following a demanding academic programme of seminars, with preparatory reading on the broad theme of the Enlightenment and Romanticism. You're given a list of books where you go off independently and you study them and then you come back and you have to talk about them and defend them. I thought that was quite a different way of studying and learning than it was doing A-levels. So I thought that the kind of independence that you got and the expectation as well was quite different. So I thought that was quite liberating for me so for this, doing the seminars, yeah. I'm really enjoying learning about new things um, and they all relate to the subjects I'm doing because I'm doing philosophy and history. So they complement what I'm studying and it's nice to get an experience of what university kind of things will be like and what subjects because I want to study history. So it's nice to get a feel for what that might be like in when I go to study history. The ability to actually think deeply about issues and read beyond what has been said on the paper and attention to detail and actually think about various ideas and how it relates back to an historical period and um, how it relates back to ideas other, other thinkers might have had and being able to think like that is what I hope to gain from this experience and knowledge. It's not a type of learning I've ever experienced before but it's been really interesting and really informative. I mean I've learned some stuff in the past six weeks that I'd probably never have had the chance to learn even at university. It's been a real insight some of the people we've, we've had talk to us, not just at Oxford, but when they've come to us here, has been amazing. I mean, the last few lectures have just been a, a different experience and it really makes me interested about what I can learn in the future, not just from university, but from the whole subject, what I can branch off and learn on my own.